Hello. This brief tutorial describes how to use daily report properties to customize Vantage Point. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use daily report properties to customize fonts, background colors, and the data range displayed on a selected daily report. You can apply the custom settings to one daily report, all open daily reports, or set as the new default. Open a daily report for one or more markets. And then, if you like, you can click Hide on the toolbar to hide the navigation pane and free up some screen space. To access the Daily Report property screen, just do a single right-click on any open report, and then choose Properties from the Context menu. Use the Chart property screen to customize your font style, background color, data range. Click the Font Style button, and on the next screen that appears, select the desired font, font style, size, color, and any special effects. Here I'll select Arial from the list with a font style that is bold. Then I'll left click to select size 8 from the list. Now I'll click the down arrow to the right of the color box and then left click to select red. Click apply and then OK to clear this screen. And you can see that the changes have already been applied to the daily report that is visible in the background. Click the down arrow to the right of background color. When you see a color that you like, left click to select it. You can also create a custom color. Again, click the down arrow, but this time, left click on the custom button. You can select a basic color or define a custom color. Click Define Custom Colors. I like the color that I, I have, the basic yellow, so I'm going to click Cancel. And then Apply to apply the new background color and OK to exit this screen. Now I'd like to show you how to change the range of data displayed on your daily report. Right-click anywhere on the daily report and select Properties from the drop-down menu. In the Data Range area of the screen, click the down arrow to the right of the box labeled Type and scroll up and scroll down and you can see a list of data range selections. Left-click on the one of interest to you and then click Apply. And if you take a look at the daily report that you can see in the background, you'll notice that the new data range has been automatically applied. Another type is called Days. When you select this from the type list, you can then enter a specific number of days. You can change the number of days by clicking the up arrow to increase the number of days. Click the down arrow to decrease the number of days or use the simple and direct method. Simply click in the box and type the number of days and then click apply. Again, you can see the change has already been made to the daily report that appears in the background. Another type is called custom. And custom allows you to set a specific from date and a to date. To do this, click the down arrow to the right of either from or two, they both work the same way. This brings up a calendar. As you can see, today's date is circled in red. Click the left pointing arrow to move back in time, or the right pointing arrow to move forward in time. When you have the month and year of interest, left click to select the specific day, and now you can see that this specific day appears in the From box. Click Apply and take a look at the daily report in the background and you can see that the new range of data has been applied. I'm going to show you another quick way that you can change the data range. Click OK to exit the Chart Properties screen and then take a look on the toolbar. 
you'll see a selection on the toolbar that's called Data Range. Click the down arrow to the right of there, and you'll see these are the same choices that appeared on the Chart Property screen, and they work exactly the same way. So this is a nice, handy shortcut for changing the range of data displayed on a daily report. And again, you left-click to select the date range of interest. One more thing about daily report properties. So let's go back to the daily report property screen. You notice throughout this tutorial that I always clicked apply to show you how the changes were applied to the open daily report in the background. But what this does is it applies the changes only to that daily report. For example, mini corn has the changes, but oats and wheat do not. I can return to the property screen. Now I really like these mini corn properties that I selected and I would like to apply them to all open daily reports. I can do this by simply clicking apply to all, OK to exit the screen, and let's take a look. Now let's suppose that I like these settings so much that I don't want to just apply them to what I have open now. I want to automatically apply them each time I open a new daily report. That's easy to do also. Click the down arrow to the right of Default Daily Report Properties, and then select Save as Default from the menu. Click Yes. Click OK to exit the screen. I'll click Show to reveal the navigation pane, and then open a daily report for New Market, let's say Silver. and you will see that Silver automatically has my custom default settings. Now, let's suppose I don't want to do this anymore and I want to return to the factory default settings. Again, right-click the down arrow by Default Daily Report Properties and then select Restore Factory Defaults. I click Yes. Now I have some options here. I can click Apply to restore the defaults only to the selected chart. Apply to All to restore all the open charts. I'm going to select Apply to All and then OK and you'll see that they are all restored to the factory default and also the next time I open a new daily report it will show the factory defaults as well. Thank you for watching. Please visit the Market Technologies Learning Center for additional tutorials.